Hi, welcome back. I'm Gia, Lux for Less, and in today's video, we're going to have a handbag sale, yay. Um, for those who don't know me, I buy and sell and thrift luxury handbags. I also buy from Japan and then resell them to you guys. Um, I try to give ideas for resellers to make money, and I also do some DIY videos on like painting um, your canvas uh, LV bag to make it make it look better. Um, if you go to my channel, you'll see all those different videos on that. And um, please subscribe, please hit the like button, please hit the notification bell for the next handbag sale. And all that information will be at the end of this video. Okay, enjoy. The rules, um, please go to the description below. Very important, please go to the script. Everything will be there. Please don't comment and ask me questions that are already in the description. Um, please take the time to please go to the description and read if the most important stuff will be on top. And then I'll have the list with the prices and the shipping. Most of the shipping I have is $10 per item. Um, also, my PayPal is there. Uh, so you can go to PayPal and pay there. When you go to PayPal, there is a little message note box when you're filling everything in at the end, please make sure you put the handbag that you bought. I will still have that on my end, but it's easier when I see who paid what and the and right there, what bag or bags. Please, before paying for something that doesn't say sold, just comment and say, I wanna buy the LV, you know, whatever bag. And I will then respond to you. Please give me up to one hour to respond because I'm not always on my, my phone to look, but just give me up to one hour and I will say proceed and then you can go to it. And I will give you one hour to go and pay for it. I think those are all the rules and everything of the handbag sale. Um, all sales are final and I try to do the best I can in the description when I'm showing you the bag. Please remember that all these pre-loved bags are either vintage or almost vintage. So they like it says pre-loved, they have been pre-worn. So some of them are a little bit more worn than others. And this is why I give hefty discounts as well. We're gonna start with the first one and I'm gonna try to go quickly. I think I have about eight or nine, but like I said, anything um, you need to know will probably be in the description below. So let's get started. The first one I have is a Chanel, and this is um, the nylon. Um, let's see here, I love this pull tab here. So this is the um, Chanel uh, 31 Rue Cambon nylon bag. And what I love about this, besides this huge pull tab, zipper pull tab, is that they do have little, side pockets little side pockets Let's see if we can do this the sun's coming out <laughs> um so you can put your water bottles and everything in there it is a shoulder bag it is just i've already put some stuff in here so you can tell you can put a lot of stuff in here and it's really soft okay so the things that are wrong with it um these bags these nylon bags tend to peel a lot around the edges um, and it's doing that and it's a little you know a little faded or worn now I have priced these out I've bought one of these before I put it on Poshmark for $575 it's sold in less than 24 hours there are no rips in this one at all it just has a lot of peeling around around the zipper area which is very normal for these bags. Um, it's unfortunate, but if you look, you can see, I'll turn it around. You see like that. So it does, and it was on my last one too. Um, they had some peeling around here as well. And I still sold it for $575 within a day. So it does have some of that um, normal wear and then that peeling. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Then you're gonna open it up 
and it does come with the certificate of authenticity. There's your card and there's that. Okay. Zip that back up, take the stuff out to empty it out. And then you have, I really should. Here's the bag inside, Chanel. It has the real pretty new keys. Has the zipper inside. That's where I have the card and that's where the card will be. And there is the serial number tag okay so this will be item number one and it will be in the description like i said below number one it'll give the price and then the shipping okay i love it love it love it this could be an everyday bag for you that's what i love about it it's like an everyday bag okay my next one is going to be the louis vuitton Damier Bean Neverfull MM. Okay. This one is adorable. Okay. As you can see there. And then, um, oops. The canvas is good. This side is good. Now this side has it, but this right here came off, broke. So on here, I thought about maybe doing a transparent tape to just hold it down or some type of, I don't know, but that is broken on that. Or you could just take it off on both and just not have it on that side. I don't know if people have noticed, but that's kind of what is going on with this bag. But everything else is good. Okay, the inside. There is the, the flap. You have the zipper. If you flip it over, but there's the tag right there. And there's the tag, okay? The tag says, AR1078, so it's a, um, a 2008. Inside might have be a little dirty. Let me get this out of the way so you can see the inside better. Also, right here, right here, is beginning to dry and feel brittle and everything else. Um, but yes, so here you go. So those are the things that are wrong with it. This right here, and then these right here. This one not so bad. But it's just, I want to show you the wear on each side, okay? This one will be in the description. This will be number two. Going on to number three. This is not a handbag, but this could actually be, because everybody's doing now the, um, you know, wallet on chains. And I think this would be a really nice wallet on chain. It's 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 fairly large. I do not have a tape, tape measure. Here, I'm going to just give you this. Is, uh, this will be... As well, this is a seven and a half. This is a seven and a half by four. I do know that the Sierra, the LV Sierra wallets are seven and a half by four. If you look, you'll see the difference. So seven and a half, maybe this is a eight or a nine, eight by seven. I don't know, but that you can see the difference there. So this is a nice size. I guess it's like a pattern, and it's by Kate Spade. 
I love this wallet because like I said, you could make it into a cross body as you can see here. And so and you can see how big it is to make it into a purse. Back here, you have a um, open pocket. Then you open it up and it looks like fairly new. Um, I'm having problems with this lighting. It's really bothering me. Let's see if I can fix that for you guys. Okay, so Kate Spade. Um, it has, let's see the Kate Spade tag. And it has the really nice um, lining, Kate Spade, and it says Kate Spade there. You have your slots here of credit cards. Right here, this would be a place where, this is my pen, but you can put your pin in it. So now you have a pin, close it up. So that's what that's for. It goes right there, a pin. Um, you have your coin, your coin, your driver's license here. You also have an open slot here or pocket. And then you have a another coin or whatever you want to put in there. And then you have your bill slot there. Um, and then you have another open slot pocket there. So, I mean, there's a lot here going on. Okay, there's a lot going on here. And like, and then you have this side too, if you wanna put something in here. So this is a really nice, maybe like organizer too. It's really nice. I love it, I love it, love it. This will be in, um, this is number three and it will be in the description. Okay, well you just saw the Damier Azur <laughs> wallet, so I guess I'll start with that. Okay, so we have the Sarah Long Damier um, Azur wallet. Um, like I said, I'm giving descriptions down. This one, I saw nothing wrong. I look, it actually looks new, okay? This one has some fading, a little bit of fading. It's not brand new. There's a little bit of fading. Very cute wallet. You could make this to a wallet on chain. I have done that right here, and which I'm gonna show you. I have another one that I put on chain. So, but I didn't want to put this one on chain when I already put another one on. So I have one on chain and I have one not on chain. Okay. You open it up and it's the accordion wallet inside. Inside you have your, on the exterior right here, you have your credit card slots. You have some, you have bill slots. Okay. You have credit card slots. You have your zipper. And in here, then you also can see the um, serial or the date code. I'm sorry, the date code. And that is um, M I or one M I 0058. So this is a 2008. Okay. And then it closes up. Okay. So it probably needs a little bit of cleaning and it has a little bit of fading, but very cute. This will be in the description. Below. Okay, the next one is um, the one on chain. So the same one as this one, but I actually put it on chain, unbranded chain. So here it is. This is how it would look with the chain. Cross body, and you can turn it into a cross body, okay? And this one also is a little dirty, faded, Around the edges may have some, let's see. A little bit right here. Maybe starting to crack or um, around the edges, okay? Then you know that. Then you open it up. And it's also another accordion wallet. Okay, and the baton. Same thing, the exact same wallet, credit cards here, credit card slot here, um, zipper, and then this one is TH3088, which is another 2008, and then you close it up. Okay, next one is my Christian Dior bag, my Trotter bag. It is a chocolate brown leather trim I love this bag. Love it, love it, love it. 
okay? Great bag, great handles. Zippers just fine. Okay, so let's take the stuff out. I always stuff it to make it show you the possibility how it looks. <laughs> um, okay, and then inside, you can see the inside. There's the zipper. There's the tag right there saying, um, the tag that's in all the their bags. Um, Paris, made in France. And then on the other side, it says baggages or whatever the uh, tag always says. I can't, it's really hard to get to. Christian Dior baggages, okay? And then it has the zipper. It's a little dirty on the, this is the interior, so um, the zipper works. And it goes in there, okay? So I do have a subscriber that did see this when I previewed it several weeks or a month ago or whatever it was, and she did write to me, and she said she wanted to get by the Dior, but I forgot who it was. I remember when I see her name again. Um, and then she she sent me another comment on another video and asked about this again. So she's asked twice. So if you're watching, comment below and I'll remember if it was you or not. And you have first dibs on this one. Look at the price in the description below. And if you don't want it, that's fine. I will wait for you for like today. <laughs> and then by tomorrow, next person in line, I will sell it to. Um, I don't remember who that person was, but anyways, so that is my Dior bag. The next one for anybody that loves Celine bags, and they're a, they are a French luxury house. Um, I think they were established like in 1954, 52, and, um, but they have really nice bags, and this is a leather long this is a long one so remember this was longer than the than this one <laughs> okay and i don't have something to measure it and this one is way bigger than those okay so you kind of get an idea when i say this is a long this is a nice clutch this is a very nice clutch bag but if you wanted to and make it a large handbag you can for all the resellers or anybody else that likes to do that but this is a celine and it is the mac macadam um, pattern and or macadam <laughs> and you open it like this and look how nice that is when you open it you open it you can put everything in there okay there it says celine if you go underneath it it gives you the um serial number there you have the open pouch here whoops then you have the zipper right there. This is a very nice, clean bag, okay? Very nice, clean bag. No rips, no stains. This is actually really nice. So if you're into Celine, which if you look it up, if you're not a, a, know much about Celine bags, look them up. And this is a really nice one. Um, so this will be in the description. I really like this one. It's very cute. It reminds me of the LV, <laughs> kind of from a distance, LV bags. So this is the next one. This one I really, really, it's one of my favorites here. You know, you can't see that, but this is a Louis Vuitton. So if I can say it right, a Louis Vuitton cartouche. And this is a GM bag. So this is the GM bag. Okay. You can open it up. see it because this is where they put it Louis Vuitton. it's really hard to see if you pause it you can kind of see it right there it's the place best time to pause it but it's right there okay anyway this is the GM bag inside it's just it's the flap perfect crossbody flap inside here this is more of like this is really vintage 
um, I want to say pre-82. Um, and so inside you have two in here. It's really hard. <laughs> it's kind of, it's not a soft bag. So you have two right here. And then close it up. This is a little worn here, as you can see. Um, the edges here, some of the edging. Let's see. I think that might be the only thing. It was that one edging here. I'm trying to get you guys to see it. Okay. A little of the cracking here on the edge right here. This is an adjustable strap. And it's just beautiful. It really is. There it is. Okay. So all you Louis Vuitton lovers, that will be in the description. Right. Smaller little items. I have two of them. These are the Louis Vuitton ID luggage tags, as you can see there. And then, you know, they open up here and you put your information in there. And this is the thing to hook it onto your, and, and people don't just put it on their luggage, they could put it on a lot of their other bags that they have. So I'm selling this one and it'll be in the description below. I, um, with the shipping, because it's a lot lighter, obviously I'm not gonna charge a lot for the shipping, but um, that will, be in the description below. I keep saying that because I just, I always get people commenting me and everything's in the description below. Okay, the other one I am selling, this one um, has a little water stain, but if you go to one of my videos, I tell you how to get these water stains out, how to clean and leather, um, do, and condition your leather. That is in one of my other videos. Like I said, you got to go to my channel. I have some stuff on there for how to or how to clean and all this other stuff on your luxury goods. I will be having um, a future video on another cleaning of the canvas because I just bought a Balenciaga tote bag. It's a canvas and it's dirty. I got a great deal because it's dirty. So I am going to do a video on that probably next week or sometime this week on that. And then once that's done, I'm going to sell it. Okay, so this one will be in the description and it comes with the lock, the key and lock, the LV key and lock, okay? So if you were looking for a set like this, I have it, okay? And I will be selling to you for a lot less than you'll find it anywhere else, okay? And I do have a couple more of these ID tags, but um, they're not with me and I don't want to, this is my wrap them, wrap them up for you and put them in here but I don't want to um, tell you I have like four more because I don't, you just saw how this one looked and you saw how the other one looked and I don't want to say I have four more and then some of them have more water stains than the other. So I want you to be able to pick it out, okay? These will be in the description below. Um, and I feel like it's easier when you go to the description if there's only one of the IT, ID tag, luggage tag, and you have one of the set that way you're not confused of what you're buying, right? Okay. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, I hope you join, I hope you enjoyed this um, handbag sale. It was small, but um, but lengthy. That's why I have to do them in you know small little lots. But I am, if you are a Celine um, lover of handbags, I do have a couple others. And what I'm gonna do. And they're all different. They're all they're all different. Some of them are like the the toiletry, just like a Louis Vuitton, um, and some are just you know um, you can use it as a clutch or anything, cosmetic pouch. So these ones I'm actually not putting in the sale, but I am gonna put on my um, Macari. So if you are interested in any of these. Go look at my Macari and you don't want to buy from Macari and you want to get a discount, just say I'm a subscriber, comment below and I will, and just look at the Macari, say I really want this one and I will give you a discount. You don't even have to buy through Macari because they charge me 10% anyways, right? 
So those will be on there. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any um, future handbag sales. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start trying to have um, handbag sales one to two times a week. I am starting to buy again from uh, the resellers in Japan like I was buying. Um, everything is authentic. If it's not authentic or I'm not sure it's authentic, I am going to get authenticated or I will sell it to you for a very low amount telling you, I don't know. And it's up to you if you want to buy it. See a lot of, but or, or it could have just been worn down. Usually it's like right here and it, I can't see. I cannot read. If there is anything there, I have looked. But the inside, as you can see, is um, it's a Louis Vuitton. And it zips just fine. Just needs the crossbody strap. I don't know if this is authentic, authentic or not. I did not thrift this. I actually got it from Japan. But because I can't find a serial number, or so I don't know the age. I don't know if it's pre-1982 or it's not, or it was the rubbing was so bad that I cannot see anything up here. So that is something I want to look into. That probably, if it gets authenticated and it's authentic, of course, I'm definitely going to put on the next video and it will be... I mean, hugely discounted because I don't have the strap, okay? This one, the zipper broke. So I actually cut the zipper out. I saw somebody else do that and they cut so they can just open it, okay? That's what I did. So it's just an open now pocket on the Louis Vuitton um, Dragon. <laughs> Not sure. Anyway, so this one inside. Actually, the inside's not bad, as you can see and it's not sticky, doesn't smell. It's got the interior zipper. And then you have, I wanna, I always like to say toiletry, but it's not a toiletry because we know what the toiletry pouches are. This, I think this is Dragon, Dragon. I don't know how to say it, pronounce it. Um, so this one will also be authenticated. And then I will have this, these two on the next um, handbag sale. Plus, I also have, will have the, Bal the Balenciaga, and I will have another Dior Trotter um, bag, very similar to this one, but navy blue. That will be on the next one. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. And um, like I said, go back to my channel if you're looking just for other ideas of how to like make these bags look new again. Okay. So until next time, take care.